March 7th, 1939. Dear Mr. Abbott, I finally got a dozen prints of the sea lion slaughter runoff and I'm sending them under separate cover. Sincerely yours, W.H. Burt. We're digitizing a lot of the old correspondence from some of the people who worked with the Museum of Zoology back in the day. As we moved things from our old building at, on campus to our new building at the Research Museum Center, uh, we uncovered a lot of old boxes that had not been looked at for quite a while. My role was to look for connections between how the collecting they did um, drove their conservation interests. William Burt was a curator of mammals at the University of Michigan Museum of Zoology. He started his career here in the mid-1930s. He spent a lot of time in the field collecting specimens, but also recording his observations through his field notes and through capturing images. Professor Burt was on an expedition and he came across like 30 or 40 seal carcasses that had basically been slaughtered and stripped of their meat and left on the beach. It had to do with this dog food company that was indiscriminately killing marine mammals for dog food. A little bit later, he got this letter from Clinton Abbott, who's the director of the Museum of Natural History in San Diego, asking him for a copy of this photograph because he wanted to, uh, to write up an article for publication to sort of get the public riled up about it, and it worked. And shortly after, Clinton Abbott published the article with Professor Burt's photograph in it, the dog food company went bankrupt. One thing I think that this project does point out is the importance of museums in providing that baseline information for modern day science, but modern day efforts to save our biodiversity. I stumbled across Adolph Murray. I found um, this correspondence he had with the federal government advocating for Isle Royale to be a national park. Obviously the, the moose wolf populations there have been of a lot of interest to biologists over the years, and it was just interesting to come across sort of that initial advocation from Murray. The overall goal of this is to make our paper copies, our paper records, be easily accessible by anybody across the world. I'm almost done with our first box, and we have 22 boxes, so it's definitely going to be an ongoing project.